Welcome to episode 735, Ted Turner, media revolutionary, womanizer, and environmental billionaire. This is an outline of episode 735. There are two reasons we study Ted Turner. First, he's handsome, athletic, maverick media revolutionary who built CNN. Second, he had three wives and is a famous womanizer. Let us meet Ted Turner. When I look back at all my business accomplishments, CNN was the most exciting and most, most challenging and the most satisfying when, when we were successful because, you know, I got proven right. I was Time Magazine's uh, Person of the Year for the whole world. I mean, that's, you know, what, what more can you do than that? Those of us think of Ted Turner as a Southerner, but actually he was born in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1938. A turbulent childhood and a father who committed suicide. Growing up, Turner was a C student and was rebellious, eventually getting expelled from Brown University for having a woman in his room with him. In the following years, his parents divorced, he got married and divorced, his 12-year-old sister developed terminal lupus, and his father went so far into debt with his advertising company that he committed suicide. Turner was 24 years old and his father's company was almost bankrupt, but he decided he would take over the family business. Drive him to create one of the world's biggest media empires. I was going to take my station in Atlanta and turn it into a national network. And everybody thought I was crazy. Started with virtually nothing. It, it, in 1970, which was my first year in the television business, we had 35 employees at, at the station in Atlanta. And uh, we did $600,000 in business. And, and there, were, there, were, there were regulations against it, uh, but they changed the regulations. Uh, and I was doing some, I started lobbying. A lot of the battle that we fought in the television business uh, were fought to a large degree in Washington against the networks, the broadcasters, against the motion picture studios, uh, and against the sports leagues that didn't want, uh, didn't want us to take our little station and but uh, we were able to convince Congress uh, that uh, that it would be good for the good for business because it would create competition to the three networks where there was none before. Captain Courageous in 1977. Around the same time Turner, a man of many parts, had already skippered the yacht Courageous to a 4 nothing sweep of Australia in the America's Cup, arguably the world's most prestigious yachting race. I'm a lot of different people. If you don't know that by now, I'm a, I'm a multifaceted person. I've got a lot of different I don't personalities. Believe it. I don't believe you ought to see me at midnight on the full moon. <laughs> Ted Turner and Jane Fonda. The marriage lasted 10 years. Before they wed, Ted chased her, although she was still married to her second husband, Tom Hayden. You and Hayden, are you divorcing? Yes. Did you want to go out? <laughs> I said, I'm actually in the middle of a nervous breakdown. Call me in six months. Ted Turner giving $1 billion to the United Nation. The year was 1997. He was 59 years old. And Ted Turner had begun putting his money where his mouth had been. I got a letter saying that I was going to be honored by the United Nations Association as their man of the year. And I thought, well, what am I going to say? Because I had to make a little speech. What am and I say? since money give talks. Money. Give a, a lot of money. I said, How much are you going to give them? I said, well, you got to, you know, it's got to get in the newspapers. It's got to be a big figure. How about a, how about a billion? You know, I mean. <laughs> And he did. Turner fulfilled his pledge of $1 billion to the United Nations. In 2020, Ted Turner is 81 years old and is worth $2.1 billion. Ted Turner vindicated from his father. The winning started really, really early. I remember his criticism of his father when he was working at the outdoor advertising company had to do with his father not being courageous enough 
not being brave enough to do the things that Ted thought should happen with the company. And in fact, after his father died, he made it happen. I made the cover of Success Magazine. I held a copy up to Dad and said, Dad, is that enough? I'm on the cover of Success Magazine, you know. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Ted Turner, Nine Lessons. Have you watched CNN lately? Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.